Welcome back, my pupils. This is Gene coming to you with Reed Logan from the Hot Pot. Today, we're going to take a look at the evolution of core belts from my perspective. I purchased my first core belt almost six years ago. And since that time, I have worn nothing but core belts. So in front of me and in front of you, I have three generations of core belt that one, two, I have purchased and one was sent to me for a review from Core Essentials. This is the first core belt I ever bought, and to my knowledge, this is generation one. Um, I found them, I think just after they actually just started on the market actually, and I purchased it, and I carried it for over a year before I did my first review of it. I do have a review of it in my playlist under gadgets. So, let's see, let's take a look at this. This has been well worn. It has been worn so much, it was worn so much that my back belt loop actually broke the inner liner of it. When Core first started, I believe they just used a plastic liner in it, and over time with my belt loop and carrying, it just it eventually gave out. The buckle itself is a completely different kind of fastening system than you see on Core belt today. It was just... So you pry this up, and it just had teeth that went inside of, of the belt. See that there? So this was the first generation core belt. Loved it, loved it, loved it so much. I did a review on it and Core Essentials contacted me and asked me if I would like another belt to do a review on. I said, as much as I love this one, absolutely yes. It still has the track line system in it, as you see on the others, and it still has the same hinge catch system as you see on the others. So when you put it in, it does go in quarter inch increments or releases in quarter inch increments. Excellent belt. We'll get back with generation two. This is the generation two tactical belt. Oh, I also forgot to say the first generation I bought, I bought in leather because I worked in more of a professional environment, but I still wanted to conceal carry and still have the core belt. So I bought the leather one. The second belt that I got was Generation 2, and this was sent to me by CORE for review and evaluation. So this belt is actually Mrs. Hotshot's belt now. I have handed this down to her. Now the next generation belts, the way the buckle works to fasten into it, was the same spike system moved down, but now with Allen screws to attach it in. It has the same hinge system and catch system for the track line system, as you can see here. This works very well. She wears this on a daily, and she was upset with me when I told her I was doing a video on this, and she could not wear this for the day. So, it is fraying a little bit. It does get used. That's the thing. This does get used. This is where she carries her pistol at, and it is fraying a little bit. But when it starts to fray, I take a lighter, and I heat it up, and it goes away for a long time. So this nylon tactical core belt has a much better core system in it, much thicker. And this one did not bow out on the back to my pant loop, my belt loop, you know what I mean. So this is the generation two. This is the generation three. I purchased this on my own so I could hand down my other one for Mrs. Hotshot for her concealed carry. Now this one, we have a new style buckle again, which I think is even better. Each generation just got better with its fastening system. This one has, where you pry it up here, and then two heavy duty Allen screws that go down into it. It has the same hinge system for the track line. Still goes in quarter inch increments. Now I want to say something about core belts. They are adjustable as per your waist size. So they do come in, you can see the numbers there. They do come into where you cut them to fit you. So this one goes down to a 28 and I believe it went up to a 40 some. I'd have to really look that up. But I've got it fixed so I've got plenty of loop coming back through my belt. So I've got this one cut at roughly 40, but when I put it on, I take it down to about 34 because I like a little bit more on the end of the belt. 
sticking out, so I'm usually like halfway in the track line when I fasten it. So we're going to lay all three of these out, one at a time. Now you can see the evolution of the buckles in Gen 1, Gen 2, and their latest generation, which I'm just going to call Gen 3. There may be other belts in between this, there may be other buckle designs in between this, but these are the three that I do have, which is why I am calling them Gen 1, Gen 2, and Gen 3. The Gen 1 just had the spikes grabbing into the leather belt. Gen 2 had a, the spikes plus two Allen screws. Gen 3 has a much better spike system with much heavier duty Allen screws into it. So Core has taken the time to upgrade their belts. You can also see on the stitching between the Gen 2 and the Gen 3, Gen 1 does not count because it is a dress belt, you can see the stitching has been improved a little bit as well. And also the inside material on the Gen 3 compared to the Gen 2 feels much thicker. I am very happy with core belts. I wouldn't wear anything else. I don't care who tries to copy them. I don't care who makes what. I've been completely satisfied. I sit for a living and I also get up. So I'm always up and down out of the chair. I'm a tattoo artist. So I sit for long hours and then I get up and I run around and then I sit for long hours again. So the micro adjustments on these belts really, really saves the day for me on my comfort factor. So it, no matter what you do for a living, if you work outdoors, you work indoors, you need a dress belt, you need a tactical belt, Core Essentials has you covered. Their website has numerous, numerous configurations, new models being added all the time. You can get them in camo, black, buffalo, leather, anything you want, anything you want. They are the one-stop shop for belts, whether you're male or female. It doesn't matter. My woman loves the one that she wears. I absolutely love the one I wear, and this one, it's not going anywhere because if I get dressed up or have to go out in any kind of formal attire, this is the one that I wear with that. Even though it is fractured in the back, it still holds very well through the leather. So it's good enough to go out on a date, to a wedding, anything like that. It, it, still, it still suits the purpose very well. But I want to share these, these generations of core belts that I have before I introduce the new offering that Core Essentials sent me for review. So stay tuned for that. Definitely stay tuned for that. Well, that's all I got for you today, my pupils. Just want to share my Core Belt collection. I have three of them. Over six years of wearing them. I won't wear anything else. I don't care who comes up with what. I'm not buying it. Because I've already bought the best. How can you go wrong? Well, thank you very much for watching. I just want to make this quick video to show you all three generations of core belt that I have and also give you on a little warning on the last addition that they have done to their lineup, which is actually very, very nice. <laughs> very nice. I'm going to be thrilled to review it. So, with that being said, always remember to keep blowing the smoke.